Hello, my name is Jean Quigley. I'm the course director of the Psychology Conversion course here, here in the School of Psychology in Trinity College, Dublin. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the course today and point you in the direction of more information about the course. So the first thing I want to talk about is who should actually do this course, who is the course intended for. So if you find that you're interested in psychology, that you're perhaps looking for a change of career or indeed you have just finished uh, your first primary degree and are interested in pursuing psychology, then this is perhaps the course for you. Um, this uh, psychology conversion course is the first step toward a career in psychology. It's a level eight psychology conversion course. We call it a conversion course because it's for graduates of other disciplines who wish to convert uh, to a career in psychology. Um, you may know that psychology is a profession that's regulated therefore by a professional body, in our case, the Psychological Society of Ireland, and this um, body also accredits this course. So the course, this psychology conversion course, is a level eight course. So it's the full equivalent of a bachelor's degree in psychology, or what's called a pre-professional qualification. The award you'll get is the HDIP Psych. So in psychology, as a regulated profession, you must have your first qualification in psychology, where psychology has been the main subject, before you can proceed to postgraduate training in order to become a qualified psychologist. So this course has been carefully designed to meet the requirements of our uh, regulatory body, our Psychological Society of Ireland, and to be the full equivalent uh, of a bachelor's degree. With this uh, degree, with this award, uh, successful graduates may proceed to postgraduate education, including higher degrees by research, for instance, a master's or a PhD, and to specialise in an area of professional psychology of your choice. It's a two-year full-time course based on lectures, tutorials, small group academic tutorials with a member of academic staff, laboratory classes, and in your second year, um, an independent piece of research project. So as graduates, um, as you all are applying, having already done a primary degree, a level eight degree in another discipline, you have all the academic skills you're going to need to succeed on this psychology conversion course. And what we aim to do on the course is to facilitate your entry into the profession of psychology and to train you as it were in the discourse of this new academic discipline. So you're all coming from diverse, which makes the class really nice, set of backgrounds from arts to science to maths to business and um, all of you bringing something different um, and all of you need to um, as it were adapt your skills to the new discourse. We think this is best done by active learning and discussion so a lot of your learning as much as possible will take place in small groups and you'll be expected to be active and collaborative learners. Uh, teaching in psychology is very uh, research oriented um, and uh, teaching is all research led and is delivered by active researchers in the field who are publishing in the fields in which they'll be teaching you about. So you'll be getting cutting edge up to the minute information um, uh, in your classroom. So we train you to be critical consumers first and then active producers of psychological knowledge. So we'll be helping you to be able to read and consume uh, research to be critical um, thinkers, and critical readers, and then in your second year, of course, to be able to also go ahead and produce uh, psychological knowledge yourself via your independent final year research project. And um, you're strongly encouraged from the outset to get involved in research in the school, to attend research meetings, to go to the talks, and um, to experience the full range and diversity of this sort of research we conduct in the school, um, and to actively participate um, as a, for instance, research assistant, to volunteer during your summer break, and so on. Um, in short, the course provides a rigorous and comprehensive primary training which will inspire you to take the next step toward a career in or using psychology. And we'll see that psychology is a very valuable degree to have even if you don't uh, choose to be a qualified psychologist to work um, as a qualified psychologist. So just to give you a small um, idea of the amount, the type of research uh, that is uh, conducted in the school. We kind of re uh, organise um, the research thematically according to the type of research, the topic of research, and we have a number of research units in the school, for instance, the Trinity College Institute of Neuroscience, 
Global Brain Health Institute. You may have seen that uh, in the newspapers last a couple of years ago when it was launched. Trinity Research and Childhood Centre, everything to do with children and development. Centre for Global Health, Centre for Innovative Human Systems, the Centre for Psychological Health and much, much more. But this just gives you an idea, I hope, of this sort of diversity and the breadth of research that is being conducted in the school. And I would encourage you to go and look up our web pages and the research page to see exactly what's happening and to read about individual research agendas. Um, the school also has a vast range of resources which are available to you, everything from our beautiful Trinity Library, um, which houses thousands of psychology titles, databases, electronic books um, and journals, e-books and journals that you have access to. Um, also, of course, within the actual School of Psychology, we have student computer laboratories for um, exclusively for the use of postgraduate students. Uh, we have a full psychometric test library which you have access to. We have multimedia facilities. We have behavioural neuroscience laboratories. We have a state-of-the-art video observation suite which you can use, sound attenuated experimental testing suites, fMRI analysis capability and so on. In other words, um, you should be able to pursue any um, aspect or area of research that is of interest to you uh, via the principal investigator or academic staff members uh, facilities and resources. So, just if you're uh, attending this little uh, talk, you probably are interested in psychology and have already perhaps read a little bit about it. So I just want to very briefly point out a couple of things of interest to us uh, for this sort of course. Psychology, as you know, is a social science um, and very broadly it could be defined as the science of mind and behaviour, where psychologists research the factors which influence human thinking, feeling and behaviour. So that, as you can imagine, covers a very wide range of um, aspects of our experience, of human experience. And psychology is both an umbrella science and a hub science. Um, in other words, as one of the social sciences, it intersects or is at the interface and um, the borders with lots of other types of uh, scientific inquiry. Um, but as Social science, psychology is a branch of science that demands clear, rigorous thinking, numeracy and the ability to define, study and solve problems in complex, changing settings. As you can imagine, very many of the settings or the topics we research in psychology are multifactorial, multi-determined, very complex um, and require um, this sort of approach. Psychology is also an umbrella science in that we study as psychologists and indeed as psychology students, you will be studying everything from sort of biological, the biological basis of behaviour right up to why we behave the way we do in groups or mobs. So psychology is also an applied science that deals with how people act and behave in the real world and provides support for people in their social life and work, for example, through clinical and counselling interventions. And I know very often many of our students are interested in pursuing psychology in order to become a qualified clinical or counselling psychologist in order to work um, as a professional psychologist um, in that way. So it also means, of course, um, that there is a huge range of different types of psychologists and different types of psychological inquiry available to you um, as a graduate of a psychology primary degree. Broadly then, the goals of psychology are to describe how people and indeed other species behave, to understand the causes of these behaviours, to predict how people and animals will behave under certain conditions, to go on to influence these behaviours through the control of its causes and to apply psychological knowledge that we, that we produce in ways that enhance human welfare. So a very broad remit, everything from describing in the first instance to application of our knowledge to um, improve um, our world as it were. Just an example to give you an idea of some of the questions you'll encounter in study of psychology or some of the things that uh, the topics that are researched. For instance, how do brain cells communicate to enable thoughts? We know a lot about how neurons fire, for instance, but how does this actually translate to an actual thought which I can then communicate? How do babies acquire language? How do the infants go from having no idea of what speech is um, to being able to 
uh, have quite a complex conversation with you by the age of two or three. Are our brains wired in any way like computers as we're inclined to think they are? Do men and women or why do men and women think about sex differently? Can you trust your parents' retention and memory? I mean, there's a lot of uh, applications of these sorts of questions. Why are some of us and not others susceptible to mental illness? Um, and so on. All of these fascinating questions which you'll encounter as you uh, go through your psychology degree. Just to give you then a very, very brief um, idea of what the course would look like over the two years. Um, and I would encourage you to go, if you have an interest, to go to the website in which you get a lot more detailed information about exactly what is entailed in a course, in this course. But the basic course structure is it's a two-year full-time course. The award you will be, we call it Psychology Conversion Courses, it's titled the actual award, which will be on your transcript when you graduate, is the HDIP Psych in Psychology. So importantly, it's a postgraduate course. Um, uh, applicants will be graduates in the sense that you've all already got a primary degree in a different discipline or subject, um, but it is a first qualification in psychology. I mentioned earlier about the uh, regulations according to the professional bodies, so you're actually covering undergraduate or level eight material. Okay, so it's level eight in the national uh, qualification framework. It is the full equivalent, you are two year postgraduate uh, PCC course is the full equivalent of a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Um, and if you have an interest in looking up the PSI, Psychological Society of Ireland guidelines and accreditation, um, you have the website there. So over the course of those two years then, you will be covering um, material which is carefully designed to make sure that you meet the requirements of the professional body for graduate membership. And this is very important for gaining access to many of the postgraduate training courses. So you should never do a course um, in psychology in anywhere which is not accredited by uh, the relevant professional body. Um, and that professional body will also specify um, to quite a level of detail what should be covered in um, the course and what are the so-called core components. So these are covered in our course in both foundation and advanced level. And the six areas are the biological basis of behaviour, development and lifespan psychology, social psychology, personality and individual differences, cognitive psychology, and very importantly, and as I stressed already, as a very uh, a highly research active and research oriented school, research design, quantitative and qualitative methods. In other words, the skills and training which will enable you to uh, critically evaluate psychological research and knowledge and indeed to also carry out your own research. So those areas, they're the core areas or sub-disciplines of psychology and as you can see they're really reflecting that idea of psychology as an umbrella. Um, as an umbrella discipline, everything from basically sort of neuroscience to uh, social psychology and um, personality and individual differences. You'll be covering all of those at the required levels. So what you will actually be um, at the end of this process, at the end of your two years, your psychology CV, if you find like to put it like that, the sort of skills you will have acquired include information technology, you'll be trained uh, in lots of different specialist software, uh, you'll be highly uh, trained in terms of both oral and written communication, uh, analytic research, data and statistics, which is a major part or a large part component of the uh, training you will receive in teamwork and in problem solving. And why I pick out those particular skills are for those uh, individuals um, who will, uh, so to, to uh, highlight the fact that the, the range of skills that you will acquire in the course of your two years with us on the PCC course. So importantly, most people or many of the uh, people who apply to uh, do the PCC do envisage a career in the profession of psychology and do wish to continue or taking this course as a first qualification in order to proceed to postgraduate training. In other words, the first step um, on route to a career in the profession of psychology. 
as a um, PCC graduate, you are able to progress to further training in any of the many different subdisciplines of psychology, and I'll mention a few of those in a moment. Um, every year, many of our graduates come back to the school to do one of our nine other uh, postgraduate courses, the trainings. Um, but again, your qualifications are fully recognised as a level eight qualification and students also go to other universities, both in Ireland and abroad in the UK in America and Australia to complete your training. So you have a lot of options, in other words. These are some of the careers um, and the kind of specialisms in psychology that you might pursue um, having done a degree in psychology. So one of the ones that perhaps is most um, well known to people outside of psychology would be the sort of helping professions, the clinical or counselling psychology. Um, so you would do a doctorate in clinical or counselling psychology for a further three years of training. You can also do educational psychology and you would work then afterwards in the school educational context. Child and adolescent psychology, for instance, where you might work in some of the specialist services um, treating and dealing with young people. Uh, applied behaviour analysis, uh, which we have a very uh, strength in in the school, um, which has many um, applications in the community with special groups, etc. Occupational psychology in the workplace, human resources, forensic psychology, which people are kind of familiar with now from TV programmes, uh, health psychology, uh, very important at the moment, neuropsychology, organisational psychology, the psychology of sports, and of course, research, whether a master's or PhD on a topic of your choice and entering to be an academic um, in psychology. So these are just some um, of the pathways you might choose. Very often on the course, people have a, uh, an idea at the beginning, they'd like to be a clinical psychologist and having encountered then the wealth and breadth of types and, uh, and areas of psychology and um, end up doing something entirely different, but that's part of the um, appeal as well of a course like this, where you have a very broad but very solid grounding in all aspects of the discipline. I mentioned your psychology CV is an important aspect to be able to identify what sort of attributes, characteristics, training skills you will have at the end. Um, as graduates of this particular course, you're in a kind of a unique position. You now have a multidisciplinary training. You have your original discipline and you now have a training in psychology as well. So this really gives you quite a multitude of options in relation to career paths and um, uh, areas you might pursue. So for instance, in terms of the scientific skills you have acquired, problem solving, data manipulation, reasoning, statistics, critical thinking and evaluation, etc. Um, alongside this psychology degree, uh, you're equipped for a career in, let's say, healthcare, information technology, finance, law enforcement. You've also, of course, acquired a lot of other skills, like the ability to analyse a problem from a critical basis, uh, innovation, understanding of human behaviour, and these are very valuable skills for careers in law and government and education. You can, of course, also, as some have done, some of our graduates have done, use your psychology training to inform and enhance your former career. So whether you have been a teacher, a member of the Garda Shikona, healthcare professional, an artist, you're a member of the business world, and so on, um, your training will enhance um, your uh, career and your career prospects in that in that uh, capacity as well. So that concludes this little brief introduction to uh, the psychology conversion course in Trinity College Dublin. I hope um, I have made it uh, somewhat attractive to you. I encourage you, as I said, to go to our website where we have a lot, a lot of information about this course, about the school, about the individual academics, about all the different um, aspects um, and surrounds of this which might help you uh, to make your decision in relation to whether or not this is the course for you. And of course, um, you can always contact me personally and you'll find all my details on the school website. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.